Have you ever made a mistake when doing a DIY? Well, this was one of those times. About two weeks ago, I painted this chair in Ottoman with Annie Sloan chalk paint, and it was going so well, and actually, I didn't even realize I made a mistake until we started sitting in it, and the paint started to crack. And I was like, what? I'm going to try and fix it. I, a few days ago, went to a store that I usually get my Annie Sloan paint and talked to the owner there. I told her about this and she told me the way to fix it is just to sand it down, re-wax it, and that should take care of it. And I'm hoping that it does. So I'm going to take you through those steps of fixing this and show you what it looks like afterwards. Hopefully help you avoid making the same mistake. I've never had this happen before. I have painted a antique sofa, a wingback chair, and some French chairs like this one here, and they turned out amazing. So I was stumped as to how this chair and ottoman ended up cracking, but I found out. I went to Annie Sloan's website and she shares a video how to paint with chalk paint. She's the creator of it, so she should know. So anyway, um, I will link the video I watched down below, but she says when you add the third coat to fabric, it will crack. And so that is why this fabric cracked. I added too many coats. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cushions off this chair and the ottoman and those are the only things that I am going to sand down and wax. And I might touch it up with some paint, but we'll see if it needs that. Those of you that haven't seen my last video, the chair and ottoman is in my living room. Winston instantly notices the fuzzy sleeve on my microphone on top of the Canon camera and he wants to get it. The reason why I don't have to do the um, base of the chair um, is only because I put two coats on that and that one actually turned out right. So what does that tell you? Three coats is not a good thing. So anyway, there's that. I started off with 150 grit, ended up doing 120 grit sandpaper for sanding down the fabric. I silenced the volume because that is loud. At this point, I am wanting to make this chair so cozy and so soft, and so I am not worrying about the cracks anymore because the outcome is a nice place to sit. Sad thing is the last two weeks no one has been wanting to sit in this chair so doing this is going to be a nice change. My hope in sharing this honest video of this DIY will help others to see things happen and it's okay. The fabric is turning out so soft and since that's my goal it is turning out great. I'm done sanding down the two cushions and ottoman. Oh my goodness, I am a mess. I don't know, do I have it on my face? Ooh. So anyway, oh gosh. Um, I'm gonna get it cleaned up and then I'm going to vacuum all the dust and then I'm going to lightly um, paint some areas where there is a crack and wax. I take a tiny jar and add one tablespoon of Annie Sloan paint and one tablespoon of water and mix them together to paint the cracks. Do I feel like this is an epic fail? Well, I've been optimistic this whole time, but I have to say I am a little disappointed. Just a little bit. I showed you what it looks, the fabric looks like up close. It doesn't look very pretty, does it? 
But anyway, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to wait for that paint to dry and then I'm going to go ahead and apply the wax to the other pieces. All right, let's keep going. The weather here in Pacific Northwest has been pretty warm in the upper 70s and lower 80s. So my wax is really runny, but I'm taking a tiny bit and covering the fabric lightly with some wax. Talking about the weather, we had an amazing couple weeks off enjoying late summer. Have you guys taken some vacation? It is so needed sometimes. My husband and I took a week to unplug from social media. That felt so good. Okay, I applied the wax and I'm just gonna say that I think this could be user error, but it also could be that orange on fabric, I've heard that orange is a hard color to get out of carpet if you get stains, but I don't know if that applies to fabric as well, if it's hard to cover up. I don't know, but anyway, it's not turning out like I wanted, to be honest. I'm sorry to say that, but yeah, I think I learned two lessons from this. Not to pick fabric that has orange and not to get fabric that is very fragile and satin-like, but stick with canvas fabric. Um, does this make me want to keep painting fabric? Yes, I, I still will, but I might take a break for a while, for a little bit, because this was a disappointing DIY. <laughs> Have you guys ever had a disappointing DIY? I'd love to hear your experience. So anyway, I'm going to let that dry and then put it on the chair and see what it looks like. Okay, I sound so disappointed, don't I? But once we got the chair in the living room, I actually fell in love with it. I love chippy old things, and this fabric now has character. I know it's not perfect, and I'm going to show you some furniture in a little bit that turned out amazing, and that was a high bar to get to, but I embrace this chair now it is so beautiful I mean tell me what do you guys think it's a gorgeous chair but anyway this is a place that my family loves to watch movies this is where the TV is and we have people that sit in this chair and then we um, sometimes have beautiful conversations together. This is one of those rooms where we all congregate. I love this area. So it was really important to have something cozy. Now, this is the chair that inspired me to paint the chair in Ottoman. I painted this about three or four years ago and look how good it looks. This ottoman I painted with a third coat, so I think fabric matters, but it turned out great. And I also did these French chairs. I will link that video down below. But the fabric is what to expect from Annie Sloan paint. I also painted the wood to look like mahogany, and I love how this chair turned out. I mean, look at that. I'm showing you these other great chalk paint DIYs that you don't lose heart. It does turn out beautifully like this antique sofa. I mean, this is such a cozy place to take a nap or read a book. And as you can see, the fabric is, you know, a little worn from sitting on it, but look, there is no cracks. It is beautiful and worked out great, and I love how it turned out.
And so my point in this video and sharing this mistake is that this is the way life is sometimes. And I want to share with you the good things and the bad things. And that is my goal is to always be honest with you. In the end, this DIY ended up better than I expected. Now it's cozy and my family will want to sit in it, finally. Thanks for watching everyone. You guys have an amazing week and until next time, bye for now.